Hey planner friends! So, um, a video in general is very, very long overdue. Uh, I've been very busy with my daughter. I had my daughter in August. I think I mentioned that in my last video. Um, I've had a bunch of health things come up. The shop's been keeping me busy. And I've just been, like if you can tell, I have like, sorry about the blotches on my hand. I had an allergic reaction to amoxicillin a few days ago. Um, because of my wisdom tooth got removed and then they put me on it and it was it was horrible but regardless I'm feeling better and I'm actually filming a video I'm trying to prioritize my YouTube channel going forward if you notice I did change my name to my shop name Planner Monkey Co I do want to try and come out of my shell a little bit and maybe do some like shop vlogs so you guys can see how um, I do my job, my work, manage my time as a mom of two kids. Um, they're not in daycare, so um, yeah. I figured I'll do a video, a sit down video about all of that, maybe um, the next video. But you guys have been waiting for a, like a, even a planner update of some sort. So I'm going to give you guys one. This is the only planner I'm using, guys. Well, right now. I say that because I'm waiting for a pocket rings to come just for my finances, which I will never show on social media or YouTube so um, doesn't really matter it's irrelevant but this is my only planner and I've been using it since December it's the Hobonichi Weeks um, I did start out in a mega actually and I decided that I did not need a mega alright so I had to answer that text message my husband's at the grocery store right now and you know how um, we're just well I am, in general, more efficient at grocery shopping than him, so he's asking me questions. But, anyway, so, I lost my train of thought. I'm using a Hobonichi Weeks, um, just a regular one. I started in Omega, but I decided I did not need all of the notes pages, after all, um, because I do have an A6 as a journal, which, again, I won't show at all, so it's irrelevant to planning. Um, this is in a Giglio Apunto in Yale Blue. And I have a crap ton of samplers here, if you can tell. I like to use up samplers. This is from Kelly Eva Designs. Um, I have a couple samplers from my shop. I have like customs I made for myself from my shop. Um, holiday stickers. I pretty much use my new uh, transparent mini line stickers the most. These are also like ones I made specifically for me. But yeah, there's some examples of some of them here there's some more um, these were accidentally printed on regular matte paper I do sell these on transparent matte paper in the shop so in here I just have a like a picture of my daughter um, one of my PR girls freebies I really like um, a vinyl that I do have in the shop and then some notes for myself this is from scribble sticker co she's a local shop to me she's a sweetheart I love her stuff this is from the coffee monsters co this here I offer as a custom vinyl option in my shop um, if you guys don't know I own planner monkey co and I, I figure in case you're new here I should say that but I'll link it down below. Um, this comes in white or black, and this font I love. There's also another font you can choose from that's been up for like a couple years now. This is from Paper Bits Co. This is a part of my new collection coming out soon. It's the Sassy Peach Collection. Um, bad words on it, so if you're not into that, you won't like it. This page I literally use for nothing. This here I use... For health tracking, I don't mind showing this. I kind of put my weight. Um, I highlight for when I work out. I fell off the bandwagon here. I had COVID here. Um, I forget what happened. My tooth started hurting, I believe. And then all through here, I haven't been able to eat the, like what I want. Like it's a lot of soups and stuff. So I didn't really want to work out. Um, and I just had my surgery in between here. So I hope to be able to get back to it by the end of the month. Um, I kind of track my cycle on here as well. These stickers are from my shop Planner Monkey Co. as well. I love, love, love this font. Um, sticky notes from my shop. Um, also, I sell little uh, tabs. I can link everything below um, mm -hmm. if I remember. Um, I do sell little tabs in my shop. Like It's called the tab kit with um, labels separately. So I marked this one as health. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and so all my monthlies, basically, I try to put some goals for my shop. This planner is going to be mostly my business because other than being a mom and like regular chores and maybe appointments, I don't have anything else. So this is my life. Um, I mark my husband's schedule on the side here. I use a lot of the TBM line stickers from my shop, which are these um, transparent minis. Um, I use a lot. They fit the Hobonichi weeks perfectly, um, which is why I kind of designed them that way. Also, this little carrying case is from my shop, Planner Monkey Co. I have a bunch of them. I plan to restock them. They fit the tiny sheets perfectly. Even the larger tiny sheets, I have some back here. There's that tab kit. Um, I'll show you in a little bit. But yeah, so I mark stuff down. I have plans. Stickers, script stickers are from my shop as well. Um, I layered it over some washi. I use the my liners. This is just like, I use these to try and pre-plan, which I also have in my shop right now. Um, I have them in two colorways. If I can even find the pastel version. Yeah, so I have it in like a minimal neutral version and then a pastel version. And I forgot to mention these tabs here, also from my shop. A <laughs> little bit of self-promotion there. These are Midori um, index tabs. I have them in the brass as well as the silver. I prefer the silver. Um, so yeah, I just kind of decorate a few months in advance. Um, I put pre-planning on sticky notes. I'll just do a quick flip of my weeklies. And then this is this week. Um, next week is kind of laid out and then I don't have anything else laid out. Next up I have a note section here. I tipped in this little acetate, or it's not acetate, vellum that I have had for years. I think it was from Bunny Plans Shop. I'm not 100% sure. This page is literally just nothing right now. I have a bit of an index. An available skew section. I put my little, um, this lined little stickers on these tabs I got from AliExpress. I have like a to draw, like an ideas list. I have washi ideas. I have shop expenses. Um, a couple personal pages. I have dinner ideas, Macy Mail, like restock lists. No spend, workout trackers, wish list. I have tax info, quotes, um, credit card payment sheet, some keto meal ideas, more manufacturer quotes. Um, and then I have like my savings tracker. I do like a monthly page each month. And I put some goals. Um, this is a list I still have to do. I have some like random notes here. Uh -huh. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I use my notes section for. And then I have a, a vinyl sticker. This is from my shop, Planner Monkey Co. as well. I have the Hobonichi stencil here and some random stickers. Same within the back pocket. So that is what I'm using for planning. Now, um, I also wanted to make this video a bit interesting and show you guys what I use like to carry around my most used like, supplies, I guess. Um, I have this Dolphonics pouch. I believe this is the small size. Yeah, and I got it from Amazon Japan. Um, the first thing in the front, I keep two of these pockets. And these are what my transparent uh, mini line looks like. I have script stickers. I have different types of scripts. I have lots of icons, dot stickers, teardrop stickers, heart stickers, little washi strips. You name it, I probably have it. And if I don't, uh, feel free to email me with any requests. These are new for Toonie Tuesday, which is happening tomorrow. So if this video goes up in time, March 15th, all of these ones here will be discounted to $2 Canadian each for the day. So I kind of keep those just in this front pocket here. Then I have some other shop samplers and Coffee Monsters Co. emoji stickers, which I love. 
and I have two Hobonichi um, albums and I use these for my most used stickers which Shocker, Paper Bits Co and the Coffee Monsters Co is pretty much my go-to for shopping for stickers that aren't from my own shop. Um, so th that's my like mini collection. I have taken all the stickers off of their sticker sheets before and put them in reusable albums, which I actually have right here, which I also keep really close by. This is from my shop as well, and you can see I have a bunch of stickers here. Just wanted to put it back. So. In the back, I just keep more of my savings challenge, some sticky notes, and in the center pocket here, I keep all of my pens that I might want to use. Lots of pens. Um, I'm not going to go through them all in this video, because this was just supposed to be like a quick planner update video. But yeah, and my Tombows I do keep on my desk. So uh, that was everything. <laughs> that was everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm, I'm planning to do more, so bear with me. And I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.